Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be making yet another scratch video, yet this one just might be a little bit longer than possibly every video on my channel, as we're going to be doing Flappy Bird in a tutorial. This might become a two-part tutorial soon, which I'm sure we're all looking forward to, but so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment if you have any ideas, and let's get on with the video. So like I said, to make Flappy Bird, it's pretty tricky, so I'm just going to delete this cat and use a square for the moment. You can hold shift to make a perfect square, and if it's too big on the screen, I would consider making it about, let's say, 25 by 25 pixels, this big on the screen. You can add any character you really like, as long as it's the size you prefer. So. We'll start with a when green flag clicked, if you want to delete this variable, and you don't need it. And a point in direction 90, which is very important, and then set Y to 0. And then we're going to have to make an, a new variable and call it speed Y for all sprites. So press this tick here, and it's going to go away on the screen because it's ugly. And then set speed Y to 0. And make sure it's zero, or else if you have a game running, you can die instantly. So then put a set size to 100, and you can really set the size to whatever you like. But I'm keeping it at 100. Then put a wait one second cooldown time from control, and then put a forever loop. Now this is going to be the game movement. So, if you set X forever... So forever set X to minus 145, which to me seems like a good value. So um, the sprite will always go to this part of the screen, which looks good in most games. And then you can forever change speed Y by minus 1.3, which is the gravity right now. Um, personally, this is a good number, just like I said again, like the set X, and then change Y by speed Y, and you'll see there is gravity, so if you press the green flag, it will fall. So I'm going to remove this weight one second, actually, and now you can see when I press the green flag, your character falls to the ground, but it's not that fun, you can't jump, you can't do anything, so we need to make it able for you to actually move so if you go down then you can put a when space key pressed set speed y to let's say 12 which seems like a good number to me and now if you see when you press the space bar you can actually jump like in flappy bird but it's still still like um it isn't moving so for now i'm going to go to the backdrops and just color it all so convert it to bitmap Go to this fill option, and I'm going to make it all blue. That's my background color. And I'm going to change this to orange. So it still works exactly the same. Maybe I should give it an outline, because it's hard to see. So you can play, like in Flappy Bird. But still, we need to polish this game off. So... If you go to motion, then put a point in direction. This is a really cool trick you should all try. Put a plus, and on one side put 90. And then put a times, and on the last side put 5. So listen to this carefully. And then take an abs of and turn it into cos of. Sorry, cos of. And put it in the left side. And then take another times and put it into here and then put 300 on the right side and go up to sensing and put timer on the left side so now you should see your characters should start like moving from side to side which is really cool and it's really useful in any kind of scratch project so now we need to be able to actually have obstacles to go around to so I'm gonna name this bird so if you make a new sprite and name this obstacle, 
sorry name it obstacle and then you can draw any type of obstacle you like that's able for you to go through I'm just going to do the classic flappy bird obstacle this thing everyone knows about this it's very famous It's almost like a tube. And I'll duplicate the entire thing, flip it vertically, and this is my Flappy Bird obstacle. Now you can see it isn't moving. Like if you press the green flag, all you can do is jump around because we haven't coded anything in it yet. So we need to get coding for the obstacles. So when the green flag is clicked, Make a new variable and name this score for all sprites. Keep this shown and if you double click it, it becomes like a shower. So if you put it in the very top of the screen, it shows your score. Currently it's zero and you can't gain any. So set score to zero and point in direction 90. And then put a hide block. And you might be confused at this point why we're putting a hide block, but it's very important as you, since you don't put it, since we're making clones, we don't want the original clone to show. So when I start as a clone, then show, which means that only clones will show, and then go to x two hundred and forty. Y, let's say, pick random, minus 80 to 80, which means it'll be up or down by a certain amount. So there's a bit of randomness. And then put a forever loop, and then change X by minus 6. And then if X position, in fact, no, leave this for now and bring out a create clone of myself block, press the green flag, and press create clone of myself, and it should go across the screen, and you should read the X position. So if you put a say block, and put say X position, then we can see the lowest possible amount X position for our sprite. So, we'll put in if X position is less than minus 254 which is one more then delete this clone so basically when I create a clone of myself when the flappy bird reaches the other side the obstacle will be deleted which is very good because you really don't want them piling up on the other side so now we actually have to make the clones so when green flag is clicked forever wait say 1.5 seconds and create clone of myself which actually does work so now you'll see every so often there will be a flappy bird obstacle but there's one problem you can go straight through it so the mechanics is working but you can go through them, which means there's something wrong with the player. So if you go to the bird again, put an if touching obstacle, then let's stop all, which will stop everything. And then we need to start working on how the score works. So put another when green flag clicked, a forever loop, and put a wait one second here and then duplicate this remove the create clone of myself and put a change score by one and that should be pretty good if you've been following the instructions so far so now when you go over one it increases your score by one I haven't timed that correctly 1.5 okay and then now when you go under it it gives you score and it is playable because when you touch it, you die. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.
and I'll be probably making a second tutorial on this, adding stuff like difficulty, a much better score counter. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share and comment some ideas. And I'll see you in the next one, possibly the next tutorial. Bye!